He'd always been healthy and then suddenly had increased liver enzymes in the blood. The ultrasound scan shows damage to the liver, fat in the liver cells. This came as a complete surprise to Frank Müller. Then I had to think so intensely of my father because he died of liver cirrhosis. The only explanation I had for this in my case was that I had not had enough exercise in the recent past. A job change had led to a predominantly seated activity. A liver biopsy. A tissue sample should clarify the matter. The conclusive diagnosis, inflammatory fatty liver. The organ is already severely affected. There are diverse causes of fatty liver disease. Too much food, too much alcohol, diabetes, too little physical activity, and a genetic disposition all promote the enrichment of fat in the liver cells. The organ reacts to too much stress. It stores fat and swells up. A so-called fatty liver develops. It's important that an early diagnosis be made in patients with elevated liver enzymes because fatty liver disease is a condition that can proceed without the patients being aware of any discomfort. The liver cells then become inflamed and die off. The organ becomes nodular and shrinks, liver cirrhosis. This has already happened to Frank Müller liver cirrhosis as a result of fatty liver disease. The physicians who first examined him, however, suspected something else. They said it was a case of liver cirrhosis due to alcohol abuse. And I should be honest with myself. I said I wouldn't drink anything and I wouldn't feel guilty at all. And my doctor said, yes, they all say that. Think about the matter and sleep on it. Überlegen Sie mal, schlafen Sie mal eine Nacht drüber. An assumption, but the total abstinence of alcohol now can help to protect the liver, and diet plays a major role here. The most important rules besides alcohol abstinence, fats if possible of vegetable origin, carbohydrates preferably in the form of whole grain products, vegetables, fruits, and little sugar. In this manner, the liver can even regenerate itself. Bislang to date, there is no established medical therapy for fatty liver disease. Nevertheless, it is possible to stabilize and even reverse the severity of the clinical picture alone by modifications in the patient's lifestyle. There are extremely complex studies on this issue that show that the inflammation and fatty degeneration have been reversed in tissue samples from patients after a weight reduction. This is thus a well-established and proven and therapeutic method. But how do fats make the liver ill? In the Collaborative Research Center 841 Liver Inflammation, scientists are working at unraveling the causes of fat accumulation and the resultant liver damage. We have discovered that specific lipids are in a position to stimulate a protein called TREM, and we know that this protein is involved in the regulation of inflammatory signaling pathways in the liver, and we now want to investigate this connection in greater detail. Why do some people develop a progressive inflammation of the liver, whereas others don't? What role does the composition of fats in the liver play in the process? The objective of this research is to understand this disease better and thus to treat it more effectively. We are experiencing an exciting time. We are optimistic that diverse substances will be included in the clinical test phase in the coming years, which will also perhaps obtain approval for therapeutic use for non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Nevertheless, it will never replace the basic therapy, which is also very efficient, namely weight reduction through physical activity and a balanced diet. Frank Miller has changed his lifestyle with success. The inflammation has receded and he is feeling much better. It is crucial for me that I can influence it personally. I feel a lot fitter than in the past, thanks to the weight reduction, have improved mobility, and yes, the fatigue is also no longer present. 
Twice a year, he has to go to the clinic for a checkup. His blood and tissue samples help to unravel the liver's secrets and thus to improve the chances of treating hepatic diseases.